Okay, welcome back to Rikitik DevOps. I'm going to demonstrate again the the group runner um, so that I can demonstrate that it it really can run a multiple uh, repository under one uh, runner. So I have here my save uh, and also demonstrate to you how I uh, continue working on the the same the same pipeline. I don't have to delete the project and the pods I just basically uh, shut down and I create a snapshot so if we go to the snapshot so I, I have my save this one on the previous uh, video so work on GitLab you know in UX one and then I'll just click go to on that snapshot by the way if it's running do not change the snapshot. It might corrupt your uh, your VMware. I accidentally always do that. I try to rem re remember it. So it's better you still have backup. Right? So start up this one. So this one will take again 15 to 20 minutes. So we have 4.40 p.m. here. Although my resources is big, but still uh, it will run 15 to 20 minutes. So I will pause it again. So while it's, while it's running, okay, let's run the terminal and start up the CRC. Again, if you haven't seen my CRC video, how to deploy it, it's just the same uh, since since the deployment last year so it's the same so this one on CentOS is always ask me for the first password just on the first one but on the bisudo since i have no passwd i i it's literally and uh, no no password at all but on the gui it's always ask on on just first one it's about security right so while it's running so let's uh, let's prepare the browser. Make it smaller. Let's go to our go back to our getlab.com online. So I have here the the one I demonstrate last time, right? So the pipelines run here. Right, so I'm going to demonstrate the runner here. So the runner, even if it's down, if you refresh it, it will stay still, still online because there's a timeout on that one. I think it's one hour, and of course the same with the with the agent. If you refresh this one, all okay, this one go down, so it, it timeout. But this one, I think it's probably up by now but the the agent is still down so it should go up when our our crc is fully up so so i have a first repository here jbm and then i have a subfolder sub one and i have node one and this is an npm project right so it's using the same tag uni uni runner so it should ex execute right Okay, so while it's starting, rather than me posing there and posing here, let me just describe this this npm project, and it's better to see it on uh, BS code, right? So, GitLab have a built-in BS code. I don't know when is Git going to do that, and <laughs> Git uh, Git is owned by Microsoft, right? And and BS code, but GitLab was able, was the first one to, to, to do that. So the NPM here, uh, I'm just showing to you that it will, it will share the group runner, right? As long as, as long as the, the project resides under Uniwin UX, either on uh, the root, like JBM, or on a subgroup, or another sub sub subgroup 
as long as the root is genuine new x right it will uh, it have a uh, permissions right again on our repository for the agent is just uh, basically yeah it's just ca access groups right to make this one uh, specific you have to of course there's a yaml that you need to do to, to be to be able to, to run it specific right if you have so many uh, organization right and then you just want to run uh, say uh the, the, just the just the even subgroup like right? like sub two sub four sub six so you you can uh, uh make it uh customize on 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 the config yaml so this one is still starting let's see if the console can be up now yeah it's still starting but the uh, browser or the the ui is it can can be accessed now um So this one it should be up now. Yeah, so it's connected, right? So so that's how you also save your work. You don't have to redo it the installation of the agent, the runner, and also some of your Yeah, is the I think the, the GetLab dev is also the runner and also the deployment of that that JBM, right? I just get lazy. It's supposed to be on another project, right? But I just lazy. I just put it on the same uh, project, GitLab Dev. So I'm going to demonstrate now. Although, okay, you have we have to wait. Otherwise, it will fail. So this npm. Um, this this on this will only run the build the build of the npm. The reason that this build config will not run because this is for saving it to the registry and I don't have registry right now. Okay, I'm just demonstrating here the group runner that it can run multiple uh, rep repository, right? This, this is the purpose of this one. It, the next the next video, I will, I will uh, explain this uh, NPM. The, the build config right so this one uh, create the first one is the build job is just uh, build the application the second one is build the image and then the, the deploy job is uh, deploy it to the to the open ship but for now the demonstration is to to show you the group runner that it can run so it's it's, it's uh, already up here right so we can we can run this one right now to be able to trigger the the pipeline is to do a change and uh, let me do a simple change here let's say let's just put a line here and it will trigger uh, you are changing it so let's update it and let's see if it's I have doubled so let's see if it's running. Let's go to the sub one and node one and pipelines. So it's trying to run and it's try. You can see the, the runner here, right? It's, this one is running. So it's running the, the first one. So rather than wait for that one, I know your time is uh, valuable. Let's just do here. So it's just basically it's the same. It will be the same log, right? So the, the log will be like that, that, that the the build of the application runs but of course the the build config to the image will will fail because there's no univin ux re registry url first okay so that that will con conclude my my demonstration on uh, the group runner with with gitlab that it can run uh any a repository underneath that you knew in UX, it depends on the agent that you define. But it's usually like that. And again, uh, we're almost 2,000 uh, subscriber. Thank you for patronizing my uh, channel. And don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the bell button for notification. And let me just uh, show you that it will fail. <laughs> 
for sure I yeah it fell it's, 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 it it's the same thing that that URL that the registry doesn't exist yet yeah it's the same thing this is the same error so that's how you you create the group runner that it can share the the multiple runner and that's how you save the the, the crcd you know what let me show you again i haven't shown you so, so just just close the browser if you want you want the 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 agent and the runner you don't have to redo it just just leave them L leave it running so crc stop I have to keep looking on the other side because it's on the other monitor that uh, to make sure that that the recording is still continuing. Sometimes I click the <laughs> I accidentally click the pause or stop. So this will take just a minute. And then I have to shut it down. If you don't shut down, you just pause it. Right? Again, if you do not, while it's running, do not, do not say click here and then go to that one. It will corrupt your, your VMware. Do not do that. So in this case, you just, you just save it, right? And then put the notes here, but I will not save it because I already have a save. Uh, I'm just saving the, the runner and the agent. So I even if I go back here and just run and run it again, then I still have my my agent and runner group runner okay this will conclude my demo and uh thank you and ciao